Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. In this video, how to deal with low, bright sunshine in your eyes when you're cycling along. Now, in the uh, United States of Great Britain, we've been very lucky uh, in the last few months, actually, because as a consequence of global warming, uh, we've experienced some really nice weather. And what that means is that moving into October and now November, uh, as we nearly are, uh, the sun is very low in the sky. Uh, now, this may not be the same uh, in your country, because obviously, you know, different countries have different suns. But in our country, the sun is quite low in the sky uh, throughout, throughout the day, really. And that means when you're riding along, it can shine directly into your eyes, and it can make it quite difficult to cycle and, and quite dangerous. So I was cycling along with my friend Martha the other day, and she said to me, um, your videos are brilliant, but why don't you make a video about cycling in that really low, bright sunshine? And I thought, good idea. Now, I do appreciate, obviously, that in places like, I don't know, Greenland or Iceland, uh, you don't see the sun, or your sun anyway, not our sun, for 13 months of the year, and therefore you're riding in constant darkness. That's so not a problem, so you may want to turn this video off now. And I also appreciate that if you're in, uh, I don't know, New Zealand watching this video at the moment, you're actually in the middle of uh, summer, and therefore you don't have a problem where the uh, sun is low in the sky. But for those of us who are in Britain and associated countries, part of the empire, then uh, of course it is an issue. So let's go through a few issues of how you can deal with it. And the first one, the most obvious one, is wear a pair of sunglasses. And these are sunglasses, um, and these are what are called photochromic. So in the bright sunshine, they get uh, darker. And as the sunshine gets brighter, for example, in October, and it's low in the sky, these glasses get darker and darker and darker. Uh, and at the end, I might, frankly, just be Stevie Wonder cycling on, because I can't see a fucking thing. But at least it blocks out all of that bright sunlight. So number one, get yourself a pair of photochromic sunglasses. They work very well. Uh, we, uh, idea number two, and I'll put my normal glasses back on now, otherwise I can't see where the camera is. Uh, number two is to, to wear a cap. And if you wear a cap, this is a, uh, a cap that um, I was given uh, actually, I wasn't given this um, by Mark Cavendish uh, because it's an Oakley cap. Uh, I wasn't given this by Mark Cavendish. I wasn't given it by Oakley either. But anyway, it's a cap that says Oakley on it. And if you wear a cap like this and you bring bring the brim, this is the brim, this bit here, uh, you bring the brim lower like this, you see, then that stops some of that bright sunlight coming into your eyes. And if the sun gets brighter and brighter, then you can bring the brim lower and lower and lower, and uh, then you're like that, and then you're kind of cycling along like Chris Froome, and you don't have the sun in your eyes, but of course you can't see anything else either, which can make things a little bit dangerous. But I also find that if the sun is very bright, I go what I call two-cap mode. So I have my first cap, which is this cap, and then I have my second cap, which is this cap. This cap is by a company called Jam Cycling. I, I bought this cap, actually. I don't particularly like it. I don't wear it very often. But during the bright sunlight, I find it very useful because I go into two cap mode. You can see there's the Oakley cap underneath. There's the Jam cap on top. And if you jam the cap, that's a, a, a pun there, but if you jam the cap right down over your eyes, as I'm doing there, it completely blocks out the sunshine, but it also means I can't see anything and I can't actually see the screen. But it does work, helps you with your cycling. So that's uh, idea number two. Idea number three uh, is one that I've developed uh, and patented, actually. So I've got to be honest and say you can't use this uh, and send, unless you send me a pound uh, through, my web, uh, through my website. And this idea I call reverse helmet. And the reason I call it reverse helmet is what you do, or what I do, actually, is I reverse the helmet, so you can see like that, that uh, is, is a bit uh, uncomfortable with my glasses in the way, but you 
you kind of reverse the helmet, let me take my glasses off, you see. And then this kind of bit of plastic here, which I think is probably designed to protect your skull and therefore will not be protecting your skull, that's important to know. But it will help to shield your eyes a bit from the sun. So I don't know if you can see here, there's kind of, there's kind of little gaps or slits like this. It's a bit like a, a medieval uh, ch ch chevalier's uh, a knight's helmet. Uh, if you if you know a knight of the realm, I don't personally know a knight of the realm, but you might. Um, and a knight of the realm might wear a chevalier's helmet like this, and therefore they'd have these kind of slits. Yeah, these were known as arrow slits, by the way, because the the arrows used to bounce off uh, the the helmet that the chevaliers were wearing. But if they were coming up against you know some of our great British archers who were so accurate that they were able to fire an arrow into the arrow slit. So it was like a kind of arrow slit from our side, but it wasn't an arrow slit from the French side because they unfortunately ended up with arrows in both of their eyes. If you went in like those, just slided uh, Woody Allen's film. And I think it's Broadway Daddy Rose where um, uh, he's talking to uh, uh, his friend played by Mia Farrow, who's kind of like a gangster's bull. And she's telling him about a um, gangster who got shot. And, and she said, they shot him in the eyes. And Woody Allen said, oh, no, he's blind. Mira <laughs> Farrow says, no, he's dead, you fool. Which I always think is really funny. Anyway, so that's reverse helmet. But do remember, you can't do a reverse helmet unless you pay me a pound. Now, the next idea, and you may have seen this in one of my previous ideas, this is known as a snood. And it's generally used for... Uh, keeping, so I've done the, I've done the snood, the snood flip there. It's generally used for kind of keeping your head warm during those uh, uh, winter days or, or summer days if you're particularly prone to feeling the cold. But if you pull it down like this, you see, and you pull it down over your eyes, then uh, it certainly blocks out that sunshine uh, when you're cycling along and therefore it's got a dual purpose. Dual purpose uh, items are very important because it serves to keep your head warm and it serves to protect your eyes from that bright sunlight which is um, very difficult to deal with uh, when you're riding along. Now my next idea, my next idea actually we're going to have to move uh, to a different part of the studio. So I'm going to turn you off and then I'm going to take the camera with me and we're going to move to a different part of the studio. So no, don't go away, don't go away. Now, my next idea uh, would be to forget about riding outside altogether and come inside into your house and get yourself a stationary bike. This is a watt bike, uh, but you could use a, a turbo, any sort of turbo that you put your bike on. And that way you're uh, removing uh, the sun problem altogether. Now, um, you might say, well, I, I, I can't afford a watt bike, uh, Julian. I, I can't afford a, uh, a turbo and, and I can't afford to move inside and cycle on Zwift or, or, or something like that. Well, I mean, if you choose not to take uh, government advice and get yourself a better job with more money that will enable you to buy a watt bike or a, a turbo, then I'm afraid uh, that, uh, that particular problem is down to you, my friends. Anyway, uh, uh, indoor cycling obviously removes the problem of the sun altogether. You could, if you wanted, I suppose, uh, get a sort of lamp. Uh, I'm sort of pointing here at something that looks vaguely like a lamp, but you could get something like a spotlight or something and shine that directly in your eyes if you wanted to fully replicate the uh, uh, experience of riding uh, outside in the bright sun sunshine. Although I'm not quite sure uh, why you'd want to do that. Oh, okay, well, I'm back from the uh, studio showing you a watt bike. Now, my next suggestion to deal with this low sun is actually to move uh, away from the United States of Britain altogether and go to somewhere like uh, Greenland or, or Iceland where they don't see the sun for 13 months of the year and therefore you don't have that particular problem. Uh, or go to, I don't know, a country like New Zealand where I believe they've been able to, uh, because they're not part of, of the European Union, they're not subject to those kind of European rule, Union rules, uh, the, the people in New Zealand have been able uh, to get their own sun. And uh, I, I believe that uh, uh, Liz Truss, our, our late lamented Prime Minister, uh, did have some thoughts uh, about applying to the International Sun Council uh, to see if we could get our own sovereign sun uh, here, in the, here in Britain. We could get the sun that we used to have on the empire that never sets. But uh, unfortunately, Liz Truss didn't last long enough to get that particular task 
uh, implemented along with all the others. But anyway, so my final suggestion, my final suggestion is HTFU, guys. Harden the fuck up. I mean, Jesus Christ. Life is, you know, you're riding outside, okay, you get the benefit of all that mental health additions, and all you can do, oh, look, I've got that sunshine in my eyes, oh, I can't really see where I'm going, oh, I don't like all this cycling, I mean, for fuck's sake, Jesus Christ, you've got to have everything done for you, you've got to have it all on a plate, I've got to give you this suggestion, I've got to give you this suggestion, well, work it out for yourselves, guys, get your own poxy, you know, get your own cap, get your own sunglasses, you know, why... Oh, for heaven's sake, you know, life is, you know what I say? I say life's a bitch and then you get home care. And I ought to know because I used to run a home care agency, as some of you may know. And incidentally, this video is sponsored by a particular book that I wrote, which is called Dentures, Guns and Money, named after that fabulous Warren Zevon song, uh, The Diary of a Home Care Worker. And that bit was not from Warren Zevon, which is available from Amazon, either in paperback form or on the Kindle. And uh, there you are. Those are all my wonderful Julian's ideas for riding in bright sunshine in the United Kingdom in these latter months of the year. But it's not a problem that we need to suffer for much longer because it's just going to start to rain and snow and sleet and there's going to be all kinds of shit on the road that we're not going to go out sighting anyway. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.